Merry Christmas, my dear friend. Well, we're putting up the Christmas tree right now. And part of the Christmas tradition at the Chenoweth household is the lights don't work. I bought them last year, but they don't work. And the ones that last year, they didn't work. So it seems like it's a tradition to replace the lights as we decorate the tree. With this Christmas, I wish you the merriest ever, filled with love and filled with smiles and happiness. With this Christmas comes an ever keener awareness of what we are celebrating. In imagination, we may picture ourselves in that long ago time, traveling with Mary and Joseph, eagerly awaiting the birth of the Christ child. Had we been there, we would not have been aware of the message the about to be born babe was to bring to the world. How much more fortunate we are today. The Christ child grew in stature and wisdom, and then his love for all of God's children grew. He taught us how to pray our Father. You know, in those two words, he shared his divine potential with each one of us. Later he said, He who believes in me will do the works that I do, and greater works than these will he do. Most of us are able to join Jesus in his prayer of our Father. We accept this relationship, but even with our deep belief in Jesus Christ and the works done by him, we still may not be able to accept the idea of doing similar or even greater works ourselves. We may need to stir up a divine potential in us, allow that to be born again in us, so that we can keep faith and help fulfill Jesus' promise for us. In Jeremiah 31, verse 33, was the promise, I will be their God, and they will be my people. Our first thought on reading the story of Mary and Joseph is that they were displaced persons, having a child so far away from home and family. And then we consider, more carefully, we catch a new and a true picture of their experience. Mary, Joseph, and their little one may have been far from home, but they were not alone. Shepherds came from their fields. The star in the east led the wise men to where the family was. And with all these people coming, there must have been much excitement much joy and rejoicing. It would have been quite a family affair. We are all members of God's family, and this Christmas we feel especially close, don't we? We know that there is a oneness that transcends sect or creed, Christmas and Christ are for every person who has a loving heart, who puts someone else's welfare first, who reaches out with a friendly hand, who speaks a reassuring word, who shares a smile or a moment of his or her time with either friend or stranger. Christmas is knowing and showing that we are each members of God's family. Merry Christmas from the Chenoweth household to yours with much love.